Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a couple of my go-to hairstyles I've been wearing and how I add a ton of volume to my hair. And you guys know I love big hair and currently my hair is about shoulder length and it's naturally pretty flat. So I'm going to be using hair extensions to help add a lot of volume and length. First I'm going to start off with teasing my hair at the crown of my head in small sections and this is optional. If you don't like teasing your hair, you can skip it, but it helps the extensions clip in more more securely for me. So I'm just gonna take small sections at a time and put a little bit of hairspray at the root and then just back comb with a teasing brush. And teasing will also help kind of conceal the extensions you're gonna clip in. But I've mentioned Irresistible Me hair extensions before and I still love them. These are my favorite extensions I've ever worn and I just recently got their new Volume Vixen set in jet black to match my new darker hair. It comes with 260 grams of hair and that's more than any I've ever owned before. So it makes my hair look and feel super thick. It comes with 10 wefts total and these are thicker than your ordinary extensions so even a few of these will make a huge difference on. So I'm just gonna clip these in starting at the crown of my head working my way down and I've never had any issues with the clips on these hair extensions before whereas some aren't strong enough or they move around and they even fall apart after a while but these have always been amazing and they feel comfortable on so that's huge for me and the other thing I look for in well-made hair extensions are how much they shed I cannot stand hair extensions that shed everywhere I go and every time I touch them and these do not do that which is probably why they last so long so this is seven wefts of hair extensions clipped into my hair and my ponytail has like tripled in size but I've recently been really into wearing my hair very sleek and straight especially with these extensions. So now I'm going to take my InStyler Max and I'm just going to smooth over the hair to give it some shine and volume. This has a two-way rotating tourmaline ceramic barrel on one side and you can change the rotation by clicking it together and then there are ionic bristles on the other so it kind of acts like a brush. There are four heat settings on this and it heats up super fast. I have it on three to straighten my hair and I almost forgot my heat protectant but I'm just gonna work this all over my hair. You want to make sure you protect your hair extensions just like your own hair especially when you're using heat tools. And then I'm just taking two to three inch sections of my hair starting with the barrel close to my roots and I'm going to run the hair through the instyler slowly and this will really put a shine into your hair and it makes it look really sleek and polished. So I'm just gonna do this a couple more times to show you guys what it looks like but as you can see it's pretty easy and simple to do and I love how it makes my hair look super shiny and smooth and I feel like it just works a little bit better than a regular straightener for me but I'm just going to speed through the rest of this part up I just wanted to show you guys how I do the rest of my hair but it's super easy So after that, I'm just going to smooth down the front of my hair with a little bit of hairspray and I'm just going to brush down my flyaways and that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple and it's a really easy hairstyle to do, but it makes your hair look really put together and it's very chic and I just love how shiny and smooth and healthy my hair looks. And for me personally, because I wear my hair curled all the time, this is a really nice change. So I did end up wearing this hairstyle to my birthday dinner. And now for my second look, I'm going to show you guys how I do my big loose curls that create a really full and voluminous look and it's a little bit more glam. I am using my InStyler Max again and this time I'm going to start at the top of my head with small 2-3 to three inch sections of hair just like before and I like my curls to be away from my face. So I'm just going to double click the InStyler together to change the rotation of the barrel. And a tip for curling your hair with the InStyler is to keep your hair wrapped around the barrel and not the bristles. The bristles are there to smooth out your curl as you go and this can be kind of tricky at first to get used to but it gets easier with practice and you probably won't even think about it then. So I'm just going to show you a couple more times how I do it and then I'll speed through this part. But you can see this barrel creates these perfect loose curls that will give you a lot of body and volume.
So here's what it looks like with the sleek and smooth side compared to the loose curled side that I just did and you can see how much volume it already gives my hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my hair. And after I'm all done curling my hair, I'm just going to gently brush through the curls and style it with my fingers. And that's pretty much it. Now we have super glam, big, voluminous hair. And I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick tutorial on my current go-to hairstyles and my favorite hair extensions. Check out the link down below for the InStyler Max 2-Way Rotating Iron. And I also have a coupon code down below for 20% off your Irresistible Me hair extensions. Thank you guys as always for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!